Hey everybody, um, I thought I'd just come over and give like a, a more in-depth kind of tutorial for the faster geyser skip. Um, since it's kind of new and there's not really one for it yet, I thought it might be helpful for people trying to figure it out. And to be fair, I still don't really understand it much. I kind of, I kind of know what's going on, but I still don't really understand it. The, the gist of it, as I get it, is when Harry pulled out an item... He just loses pretty much all collision except in his feet. So, since when you're on ice, if you sp sprinting and turn around, you keep going forward. But I don't know why it doesn't work if you go forwards. But if you turn around and pick up an item, the momentum sometimes keeps going. So, you can use this to go turn around, pick up an item, and clip through walls. Now, this only works on ice due to how it keeps you going forwards, but it pretty much just involves going forwards, turning around, picking up an item. It it just it's, it involves some timing and messing around with it. But once you once you figure it out it's it's pretty consistent. It's it is a little tricky though. Uh, even I don't I don't really have it down. It usually takes me a couple of attempts to get through a wall or if you don't want to just like sprint all the way up you know, like that like that. It keeps you through the wall, it saves you some time from having to go up here and whatever if you don't want to like run up to them you can just kind of sprint into a wall and then turn around that also works but it's it's all personal preference there and then this is for uh, any percent round when you have a slingshot it is marginally easier with the 100 percent round when you only have the canteen this is very is so much easier due to you still being able to move around when you pick up the item it works just the same you sprint into the wall pick up or drop the item and you clip through right there like that there you go 